Yes, and uh, of course this climb, you know, when you get to the top, it's downhill all the way. So, you know, any uh, advantage you make on the climb, you do not have to put in a huge effort on the descent, and uh, you know, you just uh, keep on working at it. But we can see Remco slowly just coming back. Uh, the team of Bora and Vlasov, they seem to be the ones uh, in difficulty as well, who started it all off. But yeah, we can see. Uh, Remco slowly getting back here. It looks like that everybody trying to chase Primus Roglic here are uh, having to dig deep. Remco in the pool and Andreas Lechnerson at the moment. Lechnerson would be keeping the Maglia Rosa. It's Tailgagen Hart trying to close the gap behind for the Ineos Grenadiers. And now even the pool in front of Lechnerson is the man who's working his way up this climb. We are seeing the start of what could be the big battle at this Giro d'Italia on the climbs. Evenepoel chasing down Roglic with tomorrow's time trial expected to slightly favour the Belgian road world champion. But Roglic is looking good. There have been talks, there have been doubts. He's up there and he's still the strongest going uphill here. Yes, he looks strongest, and uh, of course, a week into the race, it can change an awful lot for a rider. And uh, yeah, he is uh, putting uh, everybody on the limit, as they say. But uh, Remco Evenpool is just limiting the losses there quite well. But this is going to be uh, a situation now for the descent. You're going to have to go full on. Roglic, we know the way he can descend. So yeah, it's going to be a, f uh, a race and a fight all the way to the line. Evenpool just starting to show the first signs that he might be struggling. The gap was closed quickly there, wasn't it, by Theo Gegenhart? Geraint Thomas is there, Joao Almeida. Gegenhart goes across and over. In the meantime, it's 1.8 kilometres to go out the front for Ben Healy. And it's now just a few hundred metres to the top for Primoz Roglic. It's here who launched the attack alongside Leonard Kemner. Kemner's gone south, but Roglic returning to the Giro d'Italia, trying to find some luck at a race that he nearly won four years ago, is looking fine. McCarthy's making his way up, and Evenepoel drifts, Slipping. drifts, and drifts some more. It's Remco Evenepoel through the walls of fans, and it's the former Giro winner, Tailgagen Hart, who's making his way up there. In the final four, 500 metres of this climb, though, we've seen the first weakness in this Giro, Sean, of Remco Evenepoel. Yes, we certainly have seen him uh, struggling big time here. And it's interesting now to see you know, what way he can recover. Uh, Almeida there coming through, Remco on the wheel there, so he has a rider that, you know, give him a little bit of rest time here, get onto the descent. Looked like he was going to stay with Theo Gegenhardt, but as you said, Rob, he's getting into you know more difficulty as the climb went on. So that'll be an interesting one. And yeah, the other challengers will be us looking at that seriously. From one race out the back to another out the front and then back again. Ben Healy's 800 metres from winning the stage. Primoz Roglic has company now with Theo Gegenhardt and Geraint Thomas. These three need to work together because it's all in all of their interests here. Yes, well, they will, and we can see Theo Gegenhardt there just waiting and sitting on the wheel of Roglic until uh, Geraint Thomas get back in. But are they capable of working as well? That is the question as we pan back here to the rest. And we can see here uh, Remco starting to push on the descent. Uh, Almeida and Is that Caruso? Caruso. Yep, that looks like Damiano Caruso. A big day for Irish cycling. They're going to have their youngest Grand Tour stage winner since Sean Kelly. The second youngest ever. Ben Healy goes big on Grand Tour debut. He targeted today, objective achieved. Irish cycling has a brand new star. A man on a mission since kilometre zero. A big circle around stage eight, and stage eight belongs to Ben Healy on Grand Tour debut. An Irish cycling star is born. Ben Healy, welcome to the big time. What a performance, Sean. A monster performance, 43 kilometres plus per hour. We can see there, you know, four hours, 43 and a handful of seconds. And he's been in the action, the tick of it right from the start and uh, not, you know, not tying at all. That is the amazing thing, you know, out of a breakaway, the way he rode away at 50 kilometres to go and just looked stronger as he was going further into the end of the stage. Primoz Roglic now with... Geraint Thomas and Teo Gegenhardt. And look at those pistons going. They're flying down this hill. 
visually sure what i can see is that they're putting a little bit of time into the evenepoel group yes it looks like that uh, yeah they're uh, making a bit more of uh, uh, an advantage uh, into the evenepoel group and we see there that it was um you know the the, the royal of the portuguese man was there uh, almeida not a great ascender either so uh, for evenepoel not the best man to be with but yeah Roglic just wants to keep on working on it there and see what he will have at the finish. There will be a gap, certainly. It looks like it's going to be the case. How much will it be? It's actually Evna pull out those three who's drifted off to the back. Almeida was on the wheel there of Damiano Caruso as we go back to the front because this now is the fight for second place. Derek G, great performance. Rather like Healy attacking since the start. Filippo Zana and Warren Vargil came across later on. They all wanted to be winners today. A long way off the level of Ben Healy, who blew them out the water. But it's been a big fight. And look at Derek Gigo. Filippo Zana in the Italian champion's jersey, trying to make it tricolore time at this Giro d'Italia. But look at G. He's holding on to this sprint. And Derek G with quite the performance to take second place. Zana third, Bargil fourth. And Derek G holding on there and showing that he has talent. We will see him again in the breakaway. And now to the second race on the road. It's Caruso driving them down behind with Almeida on his wheel. Evenepoel was there, and the next group was about to make contact the last time we saw it. But look at the effort with 2Ks to go. The motorbikes really having a twist left and right. Yes. Carthy now. That's a nervous watch, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it was a nervous watch. I could hear all the shouting there and yeah, concerned a little bit as we came into that corner, but all around us safely. We can see Evan Paul here uh, on the front of this group, and yeah, we can see there there's quite a bit of road out front, but yeah, the two men in us uh, not working with mm. Roglic, they're just allowing him to uh, do all the pulling. A little surprising to me that. Well, I thought they might contribute a little bit there, you know, just give them a little turn. If it's only 10 metres on the front, 20 metres on the front, give them a little bit of a recovery time and then he will come again because it's very much in their interest mm. to, you know, gain a couple of seconds. Yeah, certainly when it comes to time trialling tomorrow as well, I know slouches themselves, but Evenepoel, given what happened in the opening time trial, Evenepoel's been dropped here by Caruso and uh, Almeida, so not quite as good on the descent, and Caruso's coming across well. It's still Roglic, and still the Ineos riders sit on. I don't know what they're playing at here, Sean. Well, maybe they're just, uh, yeah, after going so deep on the climb, they're not able to do it, but again, you would expect to be able to do it just a, a little bit on the front, and uh, as I said, that helps a lot because, you know, you gain two or three seconds by doing that, but uh, looking like they're not going to do it at all, but yeah, what a finish here. You know, the big favourites, uh, gaps everywhere as they come into the finish line. It has been a tremendous stage. Ben Healy took all the drama and suspense out of it, but we've had the attack behind. Now we get the Ineos riders at the front as well. Now they contribute. That's good to see. Thomas is there. Roglic is with them. Tailgag and Hart. As you suggest, Sean, the recovery element of it. And now it's for every second Thomas flicks his elbow. It's in all of these three riders' interest to put as many seconds as possible into Remco Evenepoel and company. Evenepoel has worked hard to get across, and he's fighting for every second now. It's Gagan Hart giving it his all. There's Roglic, and get ready to start those stopwatches. It's Gagan Hart, Roglic, and Thomas across after Roglic lit up the Giro with an afternoon cappuccino.